one live. All right, good morning. Good morning, Nightsmith. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone's... Oh. Good morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> How is everyone's Easter? Yeah, what a day. So... You know how I was all happy slappy after uh, Saturday's live stream? Yeah, that didn't last. <laughs> um, how do we put this? Things didn't go well. Let's move over to the face cam and then we'll go to the chat because it's story time ceiling collapsed um <laughs> yeah like the whole ceiling collapsed Um, well, not the whole ceiling, just most of it. In so much that, all right, in the kitchen, we've been dealing with a leak, just, just a small, dripping, annoying leak that's almost as old as my child. It's taken up uh, about five, six square feet of my kitchen. Not terrible, and the landlord has had people out here try, you know, six, seven times trying to look at, you know, trying to fix a problem, trying to do something with the roof. <sighs> well, s Saturday afternoon, everything came to a head. Um, it also started leaking in the living room bad enough that things are bubbling over and, and the, the, the tile the we have these uh, fiberboard tiles that are like three layers and interlock they look pretty when they're done nice but in reality they just suck um, for reasons such as this oh, and our power is about to go out uh, so yeah we have a couple huge gaping holes in our in our ceiling now and can't use really can't use our kitchen almost at all uh, a huge chunk of our living rooms unusable now so oh boy um so yeah I'm not sure where where this is gonna go uh, I mean we had possible uh, tornadoes touching down around the area I don't think any any ever did uh, last night but it's still possible no power is flickering so don't know how long this live stream is going to last this morning spent all my easter cleaning and putting stuff away hooray here's some coffee so what is everyone drinking this morning well, it looks like we're getting some chat so let's pop over to that screen Good morning, Eileen. Good morning, Laura. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going to be going on here with all of this. Uh, how was your Easter's? Folgers with Italian cream. Ooh, exotic. European. What does Italian cream taste like? Good man. <laughs> um, I haven't mailed out his uh, his prize yet because it's sweet half half. All right, I haven't mailed out his prize yet because we haven't left the house. Uh, we've been kind of busy and don't want any undue uh, exposure. Good morning, Luke. Beautiful. Ooh, holy gust of wind, Batman. Hey, 
and those are alarms going off. Black Insomnia Mocha. Delicious. Make four loaves of English muffin bread. You know, I really gotta try that. Or, you know, you could just send me some. Nice. I, uh, I baked some uh, chocolate chip cookies last night. Uh, not much else I really could do, so figure celebrate somehow. Gotta have something sweet on Easter. Actually baked, uh, or I, I made 22, but I only baked uh, 12 of them. I threw the other uh, what, 10 of them in the freezer. Worked on a welcome sin for the front door. Welcome sins are fun. Nice. I love them when they have, you know, there's there's nothing better than, than fresh baked goods, really. Uh, when you get down to it. Breakfast or dinner. Nice. What'd you have? You know, bacon and eggs, uh, sausage, pancakes, waffles. Ribbed for your pleasure. Because really, they are. A waffle is just a pancake that's ribbed for pleasure. Actually, we are getting eggs in a few minutes here. Pancakes, bacon, and eggs. Delicious. <sighs> hmm. Good. Well, I'm glad you had a good dinner. Did you come out with any uh, any new music? I know it's been a whole four days since I talked to you. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to hear it, Luke. You always... It just sounds so good when you... When you uh, play. Well, bland bread is better than no bread. Did you try that uh, recipe I, I put up in the uh, in the group? In the Facebook group? Or did you try your own? And as far as practice practice goes uh it's looking like we're gonna get plenty of practice baking our own bread for a while i still have a, a good chunk of uh bread i baked uh friday friday or, or saturday i can't remember i think it was friday absolutely delicious i'm, I'm glad it had uh it actually turned out into like a sandwich loaf and the, the ones I was doing earlier they were you know they were good but they were only baking about but that big like right in the center this one is, is very you know it, it's probably you know about that big so like a king loaf size and a full nine inches so it was nice it actually bakes into a, a, a real sandwich loaf next thing I want to try to do is uh, like potato bread. I love potato bread. I think like nine by nine by four and a half, nine by five is usually like the standard loaf pan. If I were you though, I'd actually bring like a tape measure with me. Like one of those little mini tape measures because uh they're very inconsistent. Sometimes they measure from the inside. Sometimes they measure from the outside. And yes, Eileen, potato bread is so good. It is just, it's the best type of bread. Period. Done. I can tell. <laughs> 
So has anyone picked up any new uh, video games or anything? Any any new uh, activities that we haven't talked about last time? One thing I'm looking at doing is is now that I'm starting to get more and more into this leather work, um, and I want to bring it up to from a, a very seldom hobby to a professional level, is I want to get uh, some hot foil stamps. Because um, I think there, there's just something kind of sexy about uh, you know like a black leather wallet with a gold or a gold or a silver knightsmith just stamped right inside the front pocket just yeah that's how to do it cat eating eh. <laughs> they keep running back I actually have a, uh, this one story of a cat that I had that I actually threw into a pond at my parents house the sleeping count uh, sure. Why not? Uh, cat's name was Lucky, and this was when I was a senior. No, not a senior yet. I was a junior going to seniors. Uh, uh, summertime, and we had to do a senior project. Now, most of you know it was. Uh, you know that that was when I taught myself blacksmithing, really in earnest. Um, I had been doing it for years, but I never really, I was just doing it on my own, just kind of willy-nilly. Most of it was uh, stock removal uh, to make knives and stuff. Junior, senior year is when I got serious about it. So, I didn't have any equipment, so I was just like, you know, uh, sitting uh, Indian style on the ground. In my parents' backyard, I had a little one brick forge. Uh, look it up, it's Wayne Goddard's. Uh, he talks about it in his book, The $50 Knife Shop. And I, I pretty much used that as my Bible for that for that summer until uh, I was able to upgrade to something bigger. Anyways, we had this cat, Lucky. Weirdest cat on earth. <laughs> cool cat, too. It was, uh, like, it was like black and uh, gray and tan striped, tiger stripes. So cool friendliest cat on earth too and lazy <sighs> need more coffee anyways so I was on there pounding out a knife middle of the yard cat comes up and rubs her face on the exposed end of the knife to push her away five minutes later she comes up does it again all right here we go so I push her away, and I turn around, and I'm doing something. I forget what I was doing, but I was doing something that seemed important at the time. That cat came up and did one of those right on the side of the blade, tipped over the forge. <laughs> the torch came out of the forge, fell down, lit the cat on fire. I grabbed the forge, got third-degree burns across my hand, set it off to the side, picked the cat up, who's now on fire, and threw her as hard as I could across the yard into the pond I was pissed looking back on it now it's hilarious so I go inside get dressed you know dress my wounds come back out restart the forge because now everything's cold thanks and uh, I'm under a deadline because I don't procrastinate you know, get back to working on it maybe 45 minutes later, an hour later, the cat comes back. Like, really? We're, we're going to do this? Weirdest cat. Weirdest cat on earth. I could tell you stories about that cat's for that cat for days. Absolutely hilarious. I miss that cat. How do we get that cat? 
Oh, that's that's a story in and of itself. It's not. Oh yeah, my parents went down, bought a cat, blah 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 blah. My family owned Mattress Man once upon a time, and uh, I don't know why I'm yawning. I've been up since six thirty with a kid. Anyways, you know my 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 dad was the uh, warehouse manager, and. Uh, you know, he went into work, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, whatever. Middle of winter, he hears this little mewing, little beep, beep. And if you know my father, he cannot let a sound go. If he doesn't know where a sound's coming from, he has to find it. So he eventually tracks it down, and it's a bag in the dumpster. So he pulls out the bag full of dead cats, dead kittens. And this one little scrawny piece of shit kitten that's somehow still alive. So he takes it down to my mom who's working uh, working at one of the stores. And he says, all right, you know, I found this cat, blah, 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 blah. I called the SPCA, have him come pick it up. And, you know, she said, okay. And when he came home, we still had the cat. And we had that cat for, oh, God knows how long. Eight years? Ten years? That was such a cool cat. Uh, one thing you'll know about my family, too, is while we might seem kind of cold towards our animals, we absolutely love and adore them. Um, but that was a really cool cat. All, she never left the yard when she was outside, which is cool. Always, you know, if you're outside just chilling out, she would always come over to you, even if it meant setting herself on fire. And one time that cat, I'll tell you how lazy this cat was. She was standing in the driveway once, and there was a chipmunk, and you know, running back and forth, I guess, stocking up before winter or whatever. This was late summer. This cat stood stock still as this chipmunk ran back and forth ran back and forth every couple of laps it was cutting the corner just a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more lucky wasn't moving so eventually this chipmunk was running back and forth between her legs and then she dropped big fat ass cat dropped right on this chipmunk strangled it to death like, how incredibly lazy are you? But at the same time, I was really impressed. <laughs> oh, that cat. I tell you. Do y'all have some funny stories about your animals? Bowser is Bowser every day. You know, I miss that dog. Such a cool puppy. I'm going to have to go up to the state park or something, go on like a hike and have like a picnic or something once all this corona bullshit's over with. Does weird stuff all the time. Ugh. Yeah, well, your dog is kind of strange there, Eileen. He's also only supposed to be as, like, as big as my laptop. So. You got a weird. You know. I really do love these, like, handmade, mu handmade mugs. He sits on the chair and watches you on the TV. That is so cool. <laughs> hey, Bowser. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Bowser? Am I getting worked up? Hey, Bowser.
Bowser, Bowser. Squirrel, get the squirrel. Where is it? Get the squirrel. Some people just want to see the world burn. <laughs> Bowser, who's at the door? <laughs> you know it's a good Monday morning when you can give a shout out to a dog in a different time zone. <laughs> oh boy so as much as I'm bitching about the apartment I can't be too upset because uh, you know landlord really is trying to work on this and I am happy for that but I would be much happier if it was fixed because this place was starting to get cleaned and organized and everything was getting put away and then I had to take everything off the shelves <sighs> it's gonna be a long couple days y'all good news we're actually gonna be getting a whole new ceiling in our kitchen and living room out of this small miracles oh also one point I do want to put out to y'all. I know I did the giveaway last Friday. And now I'm thinking about it. I want to give everyone the biggest chance to uh, win. And I think competition's fun. I'm going to start doing them on Saturdays. No, you're not. Isn't Ohio in, in uh, Central Time? I'm pretty sure you guys are an hour behind us, aren't you? And it hasn't been a long month, Rich. It's only been what 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 is today? March eighty fifth. It's not that bad. I need to look up what time zone Ohio is in. Oh, wow, you are still on Eastern Daylight Time. Huh. Go figure. I, re I really thought you guys were in Central Time. Ah, one state over. All right, well. Oops. I know my brother's in Central Time, so I didn't know if he was, uh... Eh, yeah, whatever. Anyways. I think I'm going to be doing the uh, the giveaways on Saturdays now. It feels like it's still February 2nd, doesn't it, Rich? <sighs> you know, I can't even sleep in and, and take advantage of this, uh, this whole corona thing because uh, kiddo wakes me up at 6.30 anyways. I don't even need to set an alarm anymore. Six thirty on the dot every morning, unless he's angry. Then it's like five thirty, five o'clock, and he screams all morning. Today he was in a good mood, just up and babbling, and uh, so does mine. Damn Bowser! Yeah, well, I mean, dogs will do that. I guess it's good. Take a nap in the middle of the day, so I guess, right? Yeah. I just don't know. You know, the only thing I don't like about this is the uncertainty of, you know, when checks are coming to when when's you know, who's still gonna charge during this whole thing? When is it gonna be over? And now, when are the repair guys going to come? So, contest on Saturdays? Yes, the contest will be on Saturdays. And I think I'm going to, instead of writing stuff down, because I'm going to run out of leather at some point, 
I'm going to get a random number generator or something, I don't know. But share it around that I'm going to make something and give it away every Saturday. Maybe we can boost up the uh, the viewership here some, even just a wee bit, because every bit counts, every bit helps. Was it going to be this Saturday? I'm not sure. I'm either thinking about doing a wallet or a, uh, a dice tray. I think the dice tray would be the easiest. But uh, And thank you, Laura. Thank you for sharing me as much as you can. Um, I think the, the, the dice tray will be the most fun, though, too. Because what I want to do is uh, I want to do a, uh, like an eight by eight uh, square but I also want to have uh, the corners done in such a way that it, it'll stick up an inch and a half on the sides but also have uh, some holes through the corners and some uh, leather thong to use as a drawstring so that when you're done you could just pull those you know th those straps and it pulls it up into a pouch And this will just be my prototype dice tray, so, you know, I'll dig around with it a little bit and extend it out, and you can tell me how it goes. And who doesn't love free stuff? I really am starting to enjoy uh, trying to figure out how to do, uh, you know, patterns and stuff uh, for leather because it's fun. Oh, where's that bugger? Like that dice fault I did. That was the first thing I ever patterned, and that was a ton of fun. And uh, I think I'm going to start doing more of that. Where is it, actually? Here it is. Stuff pile on top of stuff right now. I'm, I'm just... And they're not going to give us a new ceiling until they fix the roof, because... Duh, but I have no long no idea when they're even gonna get up here because it's still raining. So they're not gonna go up there now. You know, it's a rubber roof. Why am I yawning so much? But yeah, this is my first design. I think I'll not this Saturday, but maybe next Saturday I'll make one of these and give it away. A lot of holes to punch. Really wish I had some uh, some better leather tools. But and the more I get into this little hobby, the more tools I'll get, the faster I'll get. Cooler stuff I can do. I wonder, can this... One second, guys. Let me see if this will reach over there and give a decent... Yeah, I can show you kind of decently what's going on right there. That works. Cool. I'm just seeing what my, my extendable arm. Oh, your leather will be there on Wednesday. Nice. I'm just seeing what my extendable arm will do in, as far as uh, getting me a view of my stitching pony. Because some of the larger things I, I want to do uh, need to need to be done on the stitching pony as, as opposed to the uh, you know just doing it right here in front of you right here on the cutting mat and your leather will be here on Wednesday that's good and what do you mean your leather it's leather it's just chrome tan leather nothing wrong with that about 80% of the leather produced in the world right now is chrome tan She's doing something out there. I don't know what. 
<sighs> Ooh, Marissa Misk asked to join Nightsmith. Approve. Hey, Marissa, are you watching the live stream this right now? If you are, say hello. I always love it when new people join up. It's fun, you know? It's like people joining my family. It really is like people joining my family. You know, I, I you, we're all trying to make this world a wee bit better. Earrings are are a really good, cool project for uh, for leather, especially because you have that like holographic print on some of the leather. That'll be interesting. Not sure I would ever use it, but. I could see a, a pair of earrings or two being made out of that. Bigger stuff. What kind of bigger stuff are you looking at? Like purses, wallets, whatever I can get on the cricket mat. Well, are you just going to do like cutout stuff or are you going to do. Um, you know, just cut out like components and stuff on your cricket. Because that could be very cool. Wallets, bags, nice. If you're going to do like bags and stuff, I would uh, suggest also looking at getting like a strap cutter. Um, you can go to Tandy. But I think Weather Leather Supply might have a cheaper and easier to use one. And if you're looking at, you know, to get into any sort of leather to begin with, I would look at, uh, you know, YouTube it a lot. But uh, Primo Leather, or Primo, P-R-E-M-O, is a good one to look at. And, um, you know, j j uh, Google, or not, YouTube, uh, uh, Weaver Leather, they're also a very good channel to watch. The guy is... He's very clear in how he want and how he wants you to do things and, and the procedure and stuff, and he he's very concise, but he puts out great information. I just his voice is, is a little grating at times. How he uses uh, certain vernacular. That's my own personal, but I I can't suggest him enough. Uh, to be honest and he does a lot of wallets and bags and stuff um ooh, here's a thought using that that holographic as a leather liner oh, boy why am i not waking up this is just awful um, but yeah, using that as like a liner weight, uh, like on the inside of the wallet. So it looks kind of plain on the outside, but when you pop it open, it's like, oh, wow, that's cool. Just my own thought. I bet Rich would really like a, uh, I guess it's Monday. Yeah. I guess Rich would really like a, uh, a pink lined wallet is what he's trying to say here. Right, Rich? You know, like Princess Peach. Here's an idea for you. You can do like a Bowsette wallet. <laughs> Make it all like, you know, get some... Uh, like alligator skin or something to put it on the outside 
do some red. Oh, really? Well, are you in the market? <sighs> I don't know. You know, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for this week uh, at this point. But I was planning on doing some, uh, trying to design some wallets and try and get some uh, ideas out there. Um, you know, pattern wise and maybe fab up one or two. Ideally, I want to do them out of some veg tan, uh, but I have so much chrome tan here that why not? Ah, the second time in a month I've started a fight between these two. I love it. You know, I lean. There, there's two ways you can go with this. You can lean away from it, or you can lean into it hard and make him regret making everything Mario. Just a thought. <sighs> All right, well, I think I'm going to kick it off here. Um, Uh, just because I'm I'm still not waking up, guys, and I still have to pick up like everything I didn't get to yesterday. I want to try and get a jump on that before Kiddo wakes up. He took a little nap because someone can just take a nap whenever they want, even they, if they wake everyone else up at 5:30 in the morning. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow morning, and don't forget, Manliest Monday is coming out tonight, 5.30 p.m. Yeah, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. And in this stream. Oop. Yes, I do want to end. No, I promise you, YouTube, I want to end. Yes. <laughs>